we're, we're striving to get better each and every year. And you know, the first two seasons, we we've been you know average as a defense. But this year, we're 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 finally understanding the defense as a whole, and we're looking to. You, know, you, guys, you guys picked it up toward the end of last season. The defense was very much improved over the last half of the season during that winning streak. What was the difference, and how do you kind of build on that? You know, it was, it was a, lot, a lot of confidence. You know, guys when guys have confidence that they know that they can make a play, and it also goes back to guys knowing their responsibilities better. You know, um, towards the, the second half of the season, we kind of simplified things, had fewer calls, and kind of just let guys play. You know, make, make sure in practice we were more focused, we got more film work in. You know, it just it just boiled down to we wanted it more. You know, during the first half of the season, we, we were just so close, and it just it just wasn't working out. And then finally, we just came together, and as as a defense, we just picking each other up and that, that kind of helped the, the turnaround. When you talk about wanting it more, the guys who really kind of embodied that were Kareem and, and Trey especially, but most all the seniors. Who steps up now and takes that role to make sure that you guys stay hungry and, to, you know, not just to be a leader, but just to kind of be a kick in the pants kind of guy? Right. No, I'd like to say myself, you know, myself, uh, Tim Scott, and Okita Sotis, you know, we're four or three older guys that have been here for a while, have played in some games, so. I think I think uh, you know we've done a good job of it this summer. You know, we, Kareem and Kareem and Trey are gone. They're great players, but they're gone. We have to move on for them. And this summer and the spring, we, we really got to you know kind of take care of the defense and take control and really you know leave our mark and, and help the young guys. So I think I think we've done a good job of it so far. You guys have got some losses along the defensive line. Any, any pressure to, to step up, especially in the middle of the defensive tackle? Um, well, it's not as far as much as pressure. Um, I, I feel like we're, we're all ready to step up. As far as the freshmen as well, I feel like they're ready to play too. Who among the freshmen are ready? Probably Tyler Powell and um, Dinkin. I feel like they're ready. Tyler's a phys big physical guy, so I feel like we'll be good, in good shape. Is it realistic to expect the freshmen to come out and play? I mean, I saw them in practice. Pretty... Yeah. Um, well, normally it's not realistic, but uh, – but, um, I mean, you never know in a sport. I mean, anybody can get hurt, anything can happen. So I feel like we're ready. You're kind of one of the older guys now. Can I talk about your maturation process? I mean, you put on a bunch of weight, you moved inside. How do you feel like you're coming in? Well, I learned a lot from uh, Tim and Kareem in the past years and Sylvester. And so they taught me basically how to practice. That's that's the main thing. You got to practice every practice like it's your game. So I'm really taking that into effect. Do you sense that this secondary now, the way you've got it set up, has a ton of guys that can play man coverage to give them a lot of different options? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a whole bunch of guys that can do that. Uh, everybody in every depth can play the man coverage. Uh, we look good. Sam Smiley coming with with Sam Smiley coming back. His man coverage is there. Everybody man coverage is there. So I feel like we'll be able to do it this year. Who stood out? And talking with Ryan, talking with Tab, but they're just throwing out different guys, pretty much the entire starting group. Who stood out to you as somebody that's kind of elevated, elevated their play in the secondary? Um, I'm going to have to say uh, Cam Jackson. Cam Jackson worked hard. I seen him from the summer workouts and all that. Him staying over and coming on days he didn't have to come in, he uh, picked it up a lot. Like he, he, he's really working on his technique, he's sharpening up his fundamentals, and he prepared himself for this year. And Jeff talked about how he thought the next step from this defense was really fine-tuning the communication and make sure everybody was on the same page every play. How do you work on that, and was that an emphasis in the offseason? Yeah, we uh, emphasized that a lot during the summer. So uh, now we're at training camp, and we're hearing all the guys out there talking to each other and letting each other know where they need to be and how they need to do it and everybody's taking that in and not taking it in the wrong way. Is it noticeable though more guys are yes. talking? In yes, all you hear is everybody's talking and you know everybody's telling somebody what they about to do and where, where they about to go so we'd be more sharper this year. For individual game tickets, head to GoHeels.com.